Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to fill a PDF form using the free Adobe. Some people think that you need to buy a license in order to fill a PDF form, but actually, no, you can fill a PDF form with the free version of Adobe Acrobat Reader. So I've got three forms to show you today. Uh, a bit different from each other and you will see as I go on. Some will automatically give you a text box to write in or a check box or a tick. However, some forms would not automatically recognize what kind of space it is for you to fill in an information. So you would need to identify a check or a tick in order to insert into the space. So let's get started. So this is a, a simple school form. And in order to fill in such a form in, in Acrobat Reader free, the free version, you have to go and find tools here. So if you click on tools, you get the option to fill and sign. If you go for this option, then you have to buy a license or you try a free version for a limited period of time. However, this would fill in the form for you. So if you go ahead and click that, now you have options. This indicates um, the option of imputing text. You can use this as a check box you can use this for a tick box so let's go ahead and get st started so this recognizes automatically that this is a box where text needs to be added so if I click on it I can then go ahead to type so let's say the name of my school is Duke International School So this text or the fonts look bigger than what the title is. So I can reduce the fonts a little bit. So that looks okay now. And that's it. Uh, if I go into the next box, I can fill in the name of the principal or head teacher. So let's see. The name of the head teacher is Mrs. Mark. Okay. Again, I can reduce that font to match with the heading there. And then the name of the person making the application. Let's say my name is John Clark. Okay. And my school address is Duke International School. Okay. And whatever address my school is. So that's how you go ahead and fill in a PDF form in the free version of Adobe. Okay, so, so far we've added text. Let's look at boxes that we need to tick or check. So on the right hand side of this form, we can see this question, which asks us to check one of three boxes, either state, private, or other kinds of school. So let's say that my school is a private school. Okay. So it automatically recognizes that this is a box to be checked or ticked. So I can go ahead and tick this. But what if I wanted to check it rather than tick it? I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Go up here to my options, my tools, and select a check sign. And then come over to the box and then check it. So that's how you go ahead to check the form. So sometimes in a form, you would see these kinds of boxes where you have to insert one character in each box. So if I go to my text tool and then I highlight it 
you can see that it automatically recognized this kind of box. Okay, so if I wanted to put in the name of the school as I wish for it to appear on a certificate as it says here, I will type in Duke and then it jumps to the next one and then, okay, let's give it a space. And, uh, national school. So that's how you go ahead and fill this kind of form. Now the next form is a similar one to the one that we've done. Again you go ahead to tools, click on fill and sign and then you can go ahead and start to type. So my child's hobby for instance is playing football watching games any medical conditions none okay so I can go ahead and type in none here now confirm whether your child will require sponsorship from the school in order to obtain a visa, blah, blah, blah. So let's say the answer is no. I go ahead and check that box. Again, if I wanted a check box rather than a tick box, I'll delete this and add a check box to it. Okay. Now if I wanted to answer more questions, for instance, what's their ethnic origin? Let's say they're Irish. I go ahead and check it. If I don't want to check, I go for a tick, I delete this, and then I tick it up. Okay, so yes, let's go ahead and tick. Tick away. And tick away. And that's it. Now, let's go to the third form. And this form will not recognize what kind of information you want to put in the space. So you have to choose by yourself. So if we go to tools again, sign and fill, fill and sign, automatically it gives you automatically it gives you the option of imputing text. So let's go ahead. But if I don't want to impute text, I can go ahead and select any of this. But it's text I want to impute. So today's date is the 28th of November. 2022 okay that's the format I want but let's say I want another date format I could go ahead and say 28 slash 11 2022 okay and the word let's say is an inpatient word so let's say one's animal isn't feeling well inpatient and then the town let's go ahead and say the town is or rather the city is London okay uh, when was the first symptom seen again this could be a date so let's say about a week ago so 21st of November 2022 now what animal is affected so remember previously if we Hover our cursor on the check boxes, we get the option to tick or check. But this time around, we don't get that. But we know we want to check it or we want to tick it. So I want to check it and I click on that. I've got a rabbit not feeling well. So I'm going to check that box like so. Okay, now I'm going back to text. So how old is the animal? My rabbit is only three months old. By the way, I can increase the font of this to make it bigger. And let's go ahead and do this as well. Let's make it bigger. Okay. Now what signs and symptoms did my rabbit show? So they had the temperature. So now it recognizes this. But I don't want that. I want a checkbox. So increased temperature, loss of appetite, and all of this 
all of this, all of this. Okay, so that has checked outside of the box and that's why you see that. I'm going to delete that and check the box again. Okay, so if we go to the other section of, of the file, okay, has anyone in the household reported any of these signs since the pet rabbit became sick? So diarrhea, for instance, no diarrhea, for instance, no one has. Come around, we don't want to check or, or, or a tick box. We want to dot, put a dot in the center of the, of the, the circle. So yes. Let's go ahead. Bloody diarrhea. Bloody stools. No, not at all. Vomiting. No. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. So that's how. That's how you go ahead and fill in a form. So now you can go ahead and click on file. Save us to save your field from the way it is. So I hope that that video is helpful and give it, give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and learned one or two things and subscribe to the channel. I will see you again. Bye-bye.